Hey viewers, what's up? This is Mohammad Sajid Hassan. You're watching Sajid Steak, and here in this video, I'm going to talking with about how you can customize your WordPress blogs comment form. So here in that by default, we get a horrible comment form, but we can't change those. And if you want to change those, so you need to apply here only your CSS by their inspecting element but in this video I'm going to talking with about how you can change the whole structure as you wish so without making it late let's start my this video so before starting their video that I have a request if you're not already the subscriber of my channel then please subscribe and if you do so still now so thanks a lot start my this video with me okay guys here from we will implement this design here so how you can do it so in this case we will open our this file of our this record from here so first of all i need to go to on this this pc and from here as i've already run my this with this local host so i'll open it from here go to on this local disk c and from here go to the zamp and from here go to the ht docs and from here go to your expected folder where you take your this wordpress theme and this is what wp content then themes and this is my theme so in this case now go to on this sing, uh, single dot php in this here i have already get this form and here these all are here so from here we will first delete the whole thing from here so that there have nothing leave here so here this is my form first of all i will delete my this form from here and then here this is the comment box that i want to delete from here now we will delete it so from here now check it whether they have anything or not here I have nothing else so from here we will add a code of default common template this is for PHP WordPress so this is for comments template it's okay now refresh it and here you get a horrible comment fields so we will add those here one by one so that here I'll get my own comment fields here so for that here first of all I need to go to here and here first of all now from here I need to open another folder file this is for functions.php in the same WordPress theme open it and here in the very bottom of this theme you need to go and here we will start our theme customization of this custom form here so here they have some codes you need to apply from here and I will just give you that codes so and I will also explain those code why it stands for so the first of all thing here we will rearrange all the fields one by one so for that here guys we need to add this function from here to rearrange your all the codes so in this case first of all I need to add this function comment field custom order so in this case add your this function with this comment rearrange so here I need to take a variable this is for ELDS fields and here I need to take this second bracket and under this second bracket we will take all the codes but here I need to add this filter so here add filter make add filter and here as you know there will be two parameters so in the first here will be custom WP custom fields custom form fields here the common uh, custom form fields and in the second parameter it will be comment rearrange this is from here so first of all we need to take all the variables from here this is the comment field author field so we need to take our own variable from here this is for like uh, prote comment so here now I need to add these fields with here so here I need to take these fields so take this dollar sign and under this I need to add our this field from here so in this case here this is for comment here for here we will first of all rearrange our this comment form so for that here I have this name is comment and here So I'm a ment, and you need to take all the thing one by one from here. 
so take it for name uh, email and the website so in the name for that means author author and here for this is for email and this is for website URL this name is URL so here from I will change this as a author this for your email and this for your URL and it's okay now there's all a set and now we will unset those fields from here so for that here guys we will unset those one by one and here from we will do this to unset it and here from I need to take those codes and copy this code from here take this code first of all we will unset this and then we will unset other things one by one two three four so make this field as a author make this field as an email make this field for URL it's okay this all the fields are resetted and they have everything is done now we will reset those fields from here so for that here now we can rearrange those now if I want to take this field author in the first instead of in the, from the last we can take it so now we will reset it and equal this with this pretty variable and take this now check it whether it works or not so in this case still now it not doesn't work and here you need to make another thing this is for return and this will be come as a fields this will come here as a field return now let's check it and here you can see this only the name has come because I have take only this name now we will take all the things one by one this is for your uh, email if I want to add this URL then just take this URL and take this variable from the URL now see that whether it works or not so here it come you only the website now if you want to take it here in this case your email it will come here as an email take this email variable from here now do it for other thing here for URL and it comes by your URL here for your comment it comes by your comment and here it just uh, rearranged and here if I refresh it and here as I take the name then the email then the website URL and then the comment it just reset it now we will start to make the other things like to make it customized so for that here in this case we, what I have to do is that here from I want to do it like this so here from I need to do something with these codes so for that they have another function for you that is for like here the function and this also need to return this variable from here so first of all write this function here with this custom comment form default fields so for that here add this function as if you and ction function custom fields ILTS here so under this add a variable FILDS fields and here this is for the second and here add filter add filter for and here this is the add filter and under this here it will be two parameter so in the first this is for custom form com, uh, default fields and in the second we need to take this custom fields here so now under this we will add our codes so in this case first of all I need to add this code WP get current commenter so under this get current commenter here I need to take another variable like comments so it will be like this WP get current commenter and under this require this for get option required name email so I need to copy this and this will be as it is code now we will do something like with this so for that 
first of all I need to copy these variable from here and take these variable here and add these with three dots and under these and here under these I need to take these fields like this author as I want to work with customize this author field that means this name field so I need to take here so now we will what type of code I add it will show only here so here I want to add these codes for my name fields from here so copy this whole code from here or you can also do it by your voice whatever you want you can do it here because it's all up to you because everything you have to do by yourself so I just add this codes I need to make a return of fields turn return with fields f i e l d s fields so now refresh it and here you can see it your name field is customized now from here we need to do something more here that is here the value so here if you want to add a value thing from here so you can add this value here but under this value attribute here the value is important because here under this what you type it will come by your this value so here you need to add a code from here this is for your value code this is you need to add this code ESC ATTR commenter comment author so here I need to add this code right now right here and here they have some explanation from me is that here it will come from here comments so I think it will work right now and here from you can now do it but here have another thing this is for your required field so here from you need to take this code if you want to add a required field so you can take this code from here so you need to add this code as a uh, star mark so paste this code under here and it will be like that and now let's check it whether it works or not so in this case here it will be now required from here if you want to add this code you can also do it now in the same style we will do the other race things like uh, email and the URL so do it very quickly now here have a div is missing because here I need to add this div and I need to wrap this thread with a div so for that here from I will do it with a div call I can give it as a class with row this all are my own class name so you can add your own class so here it's not mandatory you to use my this specific class you can now use your own class you are free to use now here you can see it this design is almost completed done and here I need to add some more things here in this here I need to add this as a comment author and the comment URL so here from this is the author email so add it in this email for the website URL comment author URL this is for the comment author URL and now let's check it and here I need to add another thing this is for my comment this is for that here I need to add another function this is come from your comment text area so copy the whole from here and paste out this whole here one by one and here under this you can add your whole code under this comment text area so in this case you can copy the whole code from here copy it and paste out it here now let's check it whether it works or not and here in this case it also works now we will add our this here for my button so in this case also they have another fields for you so here I just copy this field from here and here you can also customize this field button here comment button customizer you can customize it as you wish 
now here you will get three parameters this is for before submit before uh, submit button and the submit after in this case you can here in these submit before you will get all the div or all the elements before you want to add in the submit button suppose i want to add this button as a sajid and here i want to add a button with this and here the button will be stop the submit and here after that i want to add it as a yasin now how it will be and here they have sajid and there's a yasin so as i use there here you can use your own so in this case in the before the button i want to add this class called md12 and after this submit i want to close this submit button called md12 class and now in this submit button i want to add this code so let's check it now place it and here we are there you can see that it we used and they have some missing of my css so it work it doesn't work here properly but in your case it will must have to work and here guys they have another thing is that here they have also you can see the comment boxes are there so from here i do these things by my css so you can just inspect those element take those class and customize those and by this way now you can also customize it and don't worry guys i will also give you that all the codes in the description below so from here the link go out there and from here you will also get this codes and here from you can also do it by yourself now guys this is the thing that what you see here guys after watching this video if you feel some advantages and feel free that time i request you please give a like that video comment me below on this video share this video with your friends so guys no more today we will meet in the next video so till the end take care have a nice day